Hello everybody, and welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom. Let's jump in and I can show you uh, what we did last time. Uh, we set out some layout for what is eventually going to become our central plaza area. It ended up a might bit bigger than I was perhaps intending. Um, and then another thing that ended up noticeably bigger than I was necessarily intending was my plan for an Azuta Ceratops enclosure, which to house uh, a small herd of each Nazuta Ceratops skin might end up being about this big, which is pretty big. That's a, that's a big boy. <laughs> um, and then we built this sort of nice lovely bridge thing uh, across it. We haven't exactly quite finished it yet. We need to put some railings up on the side so that people don't fall off. Uh, but on the whole, I think it's going quite well. We also fiddled with this backstage area uh, to make it actually like work as a, as a building. And I'm actually going to grab another two because I think I want one of these for each herd. So we're going to pop you in here-ish. You in. You might need a door on a different side, which might require further layout changes. Put him in there. Uh, okie dokie. Uh, let's go have a look at our at our boys. So they're currently in sort of a, a holding pen, if you will, over here. Here they are. This is Bella. Look at the horns on that one. I can't. This must be Nasuta Ceratops, a Ceratopsian best identified by its large, cow like features. That huge head can grow a meter and a half long from tip to tip. That's a third of its body length. Yep, they're big boys, and they are ugly as sin, it must be said. Uh, but that's who we're designing an enclosure for today. So, let's get that section of fence out of the way. Uh, there's also a bit of fence there, let's get that out of the way. Um, it's probably a good idea to line you up more precisely. There we go. Uh, I had a little visitor just briefly. Don't know what they wanted. They didn't say. They just left. <laughs> um, let's pop you and maybe we might square this up. in the water. Uh, yeah. Let me key up there. And there. Where is the door on this? The door's over there. You may also need an internal rearrangement, but that's fine. Oh, hell. <clears throat> Um, yeah, 
Yeah, we'll link it up to that bit. Fantastic. Okay, we're now going to need to use the circle invisible walls. Let's see the internal arrangement first. So I want you and the inside door. To come over here. Marvelous. Then, hmm. This is tricky, and I would perhaps like. Because this bit's going to be a little, a little bit of a pain to, to move across. I feel like what I really want in this game actually is subgroups. Let's grab you, all of you, push you over to this side. And then we just need this bit. Oh, I just clicked there, but I didn't mean to. No, I want. Apparently I can't have this on the reason. There we go. Uh, that should be the whole thing. Well, quite by accident, all of the like little props and things are mostly in this central area, so I actually have to move them at all, which is very pleasing. This is not very well put together. That's the insides set up appropriately. I feel like this could also do the thing further in this way. Hmm. I see that's uh, only an error with this one, I didn't notice it in the last one. 
Right. Uh, the other thing I maybe want to do is consider if I want this gate to be on this side or not. No, okay, I think it's fine to have the gate there, but I want to move the trough. Oh, how? Snap hitting 90 degrees. Yeah, marvelous. Yeah, we've got a nice area for everyone now. That's wonderful. Uh, now, having just done that, do I actually... I think I just want to duplicate you. Okay, now we can deal with the internal boundaries. Right, that's now one thing. It has an area that I might even be able to find out. 15,000 meters squared. That should be enough, I think. I really hope. Uh, good, good. We've got our, our animal shelters set up. Let's. You connect it up to the path, you are connected up to the path, regardless. Oh, I don't really want to put railings on these, but I have to. Enclosure 1 feet is running well. lower. This is enclosure 1, this is our Predicertops enclosure, if people haven't seen it yet. Where are you? Hello! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello! Let's get you some food. We will also need to... Oh my gosh, we are running very low on plants. Blimey. Obviously neglected my plant ordering duties last session. Right. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I've, I've done the, the base plants differently in these two different things, but that's fine. Probably. Uh, I've done staircase railings before, haven't I? Do, do, do. I've done one over here. Uh oh. Right. 
I might. Split from group. Keep a thing here. Pop here with that just a second. Um, oh, you can stay separate. It's just in case I um, I'm not likely to move this whole thing ever. So I'm off angle snap. Lined up. Put you in there. Uh, so we can extend just a certain sort of floor. Okay, you're not quite lined up. Oh my gosh, I just had to thunder that side. Well off. I guess it's actually this this thing that's that's not quite aligned, isn't it? <laughs> and that's mine. Uh, this is enclosure zero. This is a dry source enclosure. This is dry source. This is Chew. Everyone say hi, Chew. Yes, Nigel. A dry source, that is what I just said. Congratulations. Right. Um, you, what is your colour? 72F14. Uh, is the the this bit are you a slightly different colour or are you the same colour? 72B15. Oh, back. You are 72B15, okay. Well, fine. You do whatever you gotta do, I guess. Right, let's get another one. Oops, okay, no, can I have the thank you? Duplicate both of you. Not this. Okay, we've got some stair rails. We'll need some railings to go along the edges. Uh, edit group. Uh, I wonder where they are. I wonder fences, but where's fences? Oh, here's fences. I think I want this kind of fence. the colour? 72F14. And what do I want to do with this macro? Yeah. 
Something like that. Cool, marvelous. Well, that's annoying. See, if it's sticking all the way out, I'm kind of quite happy to, to let it. It's only the other one that was sort of awkwardly... Uh, with the metal sort of jutting out. I realise it's all metal. You, you, you guys know what I mean, right? What would be really great would be if I could just copy this entire set of framing across to the other side, but I'm not going to be able to do that. Oh, hello! Gosh! You are the first person across here! Well, I mean, you're not going across across because there's no path on the other side, but welcome! Hi! Yeah, you can come and see this enclosure and stuff. Uh oh, okay, just put down about eight there. <laughs> oh, well, everybody's coming. They've all decided this is the place to be. You like the bridge? You shouldn't really be on it yet, because you might fall off. Um, the, the management accepts zero responsibility for you guys falling off the bridge before I finish building it. Just putting that out there. On your own virtual heads be it. Just 
chance I shouldn't have started from this end. Yeah, I should have started from this end. Because this is the bit that you can't easily hide that in. Oh, I grabbed the wrong thing there. Blimey. Okay, I think I've got the way with that. Now, do we think I can just copy this whole thing across? I think no, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Will we reckon success? I'm going to say partial success. Partial enough, like enough success that I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to change it. This section Let's do that. I mean, at the very least, it saved me some work. Every moment saved is a moment earned. That sounds like something clever. Uh, this doesn't look like something clever, does that, let's be honest. There we go. Okay, that's a full railing. I'm happy with that. Alright, let's design the uh, the ground here. So these guys live in the uh, swampy swamp 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 swamp, basically. So I want rivers running through it. Uh, which means I'm going to landscaping. I want small channels of muddy water. Depth one meter is probably a good depth. Shouldn't have done that necessarily. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, I bet there's going to be no way for me 
to make this flow into this is then absolutely none. Zero is also nothing. Oh, that is, I guess, at least partly also. Because the fences block. Okay, I'm gonna do, do something risky here. If I get rid of this bit of fence, can I link the, the, the water up? No. Oh boy, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That's not good news at all. Okay, it's fine. Eek. Right, the channels may just have to sort of slightly peter out, which is fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Right, red deck. So I want two kind of main channels up here. And this one I want to split it and bring it down the middle. this and then out there. Right, that's grand, personally. The only question that I have is, do I want like, do I want this to be a slightly raised bit that pulls? How much water is in here at the moment? Fart water, 61%, that might be slightly too much for you guys. And the Ceratops water up to 60%. Okay, so we've got technically slightly too much water in here at the moment. Is this building floating? No, okay. Well, I could probably do it being a little bit down. Uh, That one's fine. Because if I'm having like waterfully type things, they'll they those will want to. But do I want waterfully type things? Maybe I'll have a slope instead. Hmm. Landscaping. Dip intensity. Dip, dip, dip. Bit bigger. That big. Let's bring this hill out and around. See, given that they can make vegetation conform to the terrain, I wish there was a way for them to make paths. Uh, and fences conform to the terrain in the same way. Because it's very awkward trying to, like, this little slope I made here, that took me many, many tries just to get that bit of fencing in. More than it should have. Right, okay. So let's take a bulldozer to this section, and then I want a smooth brush. We have Dave Constantine in the chat. Hi Dave, how are you doing? Welcome. We are meddling with the terrain in ways that we may regret later. We might regret it now. Um, <laughs> if I can't put the fence back up. There we are. Right. 
Okay, that should do, I think. I maybe want to make a little, little plateau. And coming in here. Oh, I want this muddy. Nice muddy pool. Let's drop a remove water brush down here. And then we'll link you back up. Oh, heck. Oh. That's fine. Right, okay. What water percentage is this composer now? 60%. That's theoretically tolerable. I might knock out this channel just to see if we can't get it down a smidgen. 59%. That's definitely within you know, the bounds of what you guys would do. Okay, wonderful. Let's get another sub plateau in. Slightly higher than that. There we are. Okay. Um right, I need to paint this. I need to paint this. Let's go to wetland. We've got mud, we've got sand, we've got pebbles. Let's give it a, a good old base coat mud, shall we? I'll come back and go around the edges, but uh... Right, this currently looks like an absolutely horrible place to live. Um, Check. Yeah, we seem to have done good. Right. Okay. 
So base level of mud. What does the sand look like? Let's look. Let's try a patch of full intensity sand. Got sand. We've got pebbles. Sand probably works fairly well for like the high ground areas. Put some pebbles probably on top of this as well. well oh my gosh! <laughs> as well. Um, The edges here. Test, test, dizzy. Oh, that is a different grass, isn't it? Okay. Now, um, what other groundy type things? So we've got this. This is scrubland sand type Substrate leaf litter. Leaf litter? Might want some leaf litter in places. Uh, what does coastal sand look like? No. I'm not sure why, but it is wrong. Uh, oh. Boreal gravel. No, also definitely very wrong. What we want. Um, but this kind of stuff. Oh, it's too intense, really. Can I get a. Yes, pebbles. Low intensity. That's like a, a really low intensity pain. Just 
just uh, an accent. Just... It's probably all gonna get everything in there, but like put like it's a green and stuff on it, but it's fine I suppose. Didn't like that one so much. I think that's fine. Um, right. So there's this leaf letter. What does leaf letter look like? You can't sort of really see it when it's low intensity. It just looks like more pebble texture. Uh, when I put bits with trees in, that's a definite maybe. Who's upset? Enclosure one is upset. Have some food, guys. I'm sort of vaguely surprised that you guys haven't eaten very much food yet. Uh, oh, you're having a little bath. Hello. Sorry, I disturbed you. How many feeders have you got in here? Well, you've got one feeder at least, I suppose that's like not empty, so I guess you're fine. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to keep dinosaurs, I just work here. Um, <coughs> um, bad attitude, I, I imagine, but it's okay, right. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Oh, I want to know what plants they like. Hey there, Istus. Will you tell me what plants you like? Tropical and wetland. Okay. What plant options do we have under tropical and wetland? Plants. Uh, let's have a look at the tropical plants first. Well, see, these elephant ears... They look interesting. I don't think something I could get behind. Fan palms? I'm guessing probably not. No. Not not so much the fan palms. Palm seedling? Huh. Scaviola. That's sort of a low ground cover thing. Probably not you. I assume this is a tree coming soon? Uh... Banana tree. Yeah, no. Okay, so maybe the palm ceiling, maybe the elephant here in particular I quite like. What have we got on the wetland? Arrow arum. Mm, it's not dissimilar to the elephant here. Okay, I like that. And then we've got cattails and reedy things, which are my understanding is not particularly era appropriate, but they are definitely something you'd get in a wetland if you actually made an, a wetland today. We've got more reeds. Oh, we've got horsetail. I love horsetail. Papyrus? Okay, I can maybe see some papyrus working. And we've got pickerel weeds. Okay, let's grab papyrus, 
Okay, now let's decide which areas we want to be tree first. Let's also figure out how much tree you guys actually want. That's going to be a sensible thing to do. I love all these people coming up to see the uh, Mizuta setups in their holding enclosure. So oh, it doesn't say the numbers, it only gives a bar. Typical open us from Mizuta Ceratops. Forest. 40 to 75%. Oh, you'll love trees then. Okay. My thinking is this little sub plateau I want to be very tree y. This main bit here I want to be quite tree -y. And then I could stretch to having trees on this island here as well. I don't really want trees too much here because it'll obstruct the view. Um, I could have some trees behind this bit if I wanted to, potentially. But yeah, so trees, 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 and then the other bits will be, uh, lower lying vegetation. So, what's a tree? You're a tree. You're a tree. Okay, let's use some trees. It's how are we doing for forest percent in the world? We're up to 18% early, that's grand. Right, let's now... Let's designate some plat patches where we want... Greenery cover. So we want green recover on the other islands. And we want plenty of green recover up here. we doing so far? We're up to 24%, that's fine. It's actually not nearly high enough. We might need more trees, trees. Which I don't really want to do. Uh, let's grab cattails, reeds, smaller brush and run it kind of along the shores of the rivers like that oh, I'm not sure I like that actually right, I 
on there. Luckily, they all come in mostly one big group, which is very convenient for deleting them. Okay, instead, let's have that, but only up around this upper area. Feed the dry sources. Okay. So let's grab horse tails and like just horse tails. Oh, let's also grab some elephant ear. No, I want palm seedling elephant. Doing marvelously. Uh, right, that ones. I want just horse tails. One, two. We don't have a horse tail three. We've just got you. Okay, that's fine. And I want the horse tails to sort of act almost like a pseudo grass. And just kind of be like the default vegetation, which everything else grows through. So maybe not so much under the trees, but uh, everywhere that's not tree should have lots of horsetail going through it. off the bits that are like sticking out later. Also prune the bits that are too much in the water. Um, right, how's that feeling? That's feeling very lush and green, isn't it? I really love the reedy pond. feeling numerically speaking. 48% forest. What's your minimum? Uh, nope. Your minimum is 40%, so we are technically ready for you if we want to. 
And I might put a s tiny smattering of trees on this bit. And possibly a couple on this bit as well. So you've now got a plenty large area. It's Yi! Hi there, Yi! How are you doing? Yi says, I swear the best feeling is watching you at midnight in a storm playing Minecraft. Or, that's sweet. Are you in the storm where you are? We just had a storm here, and while I've been looking at the game, and while the game has been raining on me, it's, uh, it's apparently dried up. Uh, where was the leaf litter paint? Leaf litter, okay. Right, let's maybe paint some leaf litter under the trees. Oh, blimey. Oh, a big one. Very nice. I'm a little bit jealous, because I actually, I really love storms, I must admit. Um. My, like, ideal living situation, climate-wise, is, like, warm to summer storms. You're just mining right now? That's chill. I've been, uh, obviously not on stream or anything, but I've been, uh, doing a fair bit of Minecraft on a community server for, uh, people who watch a different Twitch streamer. It's Forest X Fruit, if you care. Um... And yeah, a lot of that has just been kind of chill strip mining. Strip mining is is my favorite thing to do, mining wise. And it's been really like as much as I love the new caves updates, it's really messed with strip mining. <laughs> um, so I'm not so much of a fan of that bit specifically. Just just want to mine in peace. So we've painted under all these trees some leaf leather. Oh, that's okay. Plenty of people are scared of storms. Like, I know it's often sort of presented as being like. Oh, it's something you'll grow out of when you stop being a child or whatever. But like, no, plenty of people are scared of storms and that's fine. I mean, it is natural, it is instinctive, because lightning is very dangerous to animals. And high winds can be pretty dangerous to animals as well. Like, you're a much better candidate for natural selection being scared of storms than I am thinking, oh, lightning, let's run around outside in the rain. <laughs> you know, one of us is going to die in the apocalypse. It's not going to be you. <laughs> Okie doke. I'm saying you're well adapted. Right, what's our forest up to? 57%. That's a respectable percent proportion of, of forest. I'm going to try, and this might break everything, I'm going to try and put a really low intensity tuft of grass across the green bit. I 
I'm not a psychologist, so I can't call you well-adjusted. I'm not qualified to make that judgement. But I am a biologist, so I can call you well-adapted. Um... You're playing Roblox. I always found Roblox to be... It, it conceptually weirds me out. The way it's like, it's a game, but it's also like lots of games, and it's also they've got some sort of dodgy reputation with exploiting child labour that I don't really fully understand. Um, I think I'm quite happy with this. I think my Nazuta Ceratops will be too. Shall we get them in here? Okay, let's pause the game. Right, Istas, you shall be the first- I know you're asleep. And I'm sorry for, for dragging you all this way while you're asleep. <laughs> um, you shall be the first Nazutoceratops to experience our new enclosure. Bop. What do you think? You think there's no food available? That's a fair summary. Oh, so you're like a super heavy cow. Well, I tell you what, Nigel, as you've said that, if and when I make a, dif a different park in the Spain map, I'll be sure to set one of these free on the streets in Spain. Oh, wow. I love how this model looks up close. Hello. Hello. Uh, anyway, I'll stop bothering you for a sec. Um, welfare. We need sustenance. That's, I suppose, reasonable. Okay, let's put some, put some, some food in, shall we? Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna take across the food from here, but I want to... Oh my goodness, that is a, a sizable pile of dung. Oh boy. Right, Zelda. Oh my gosh, there's a dinosaur called Zelda. Marvel. Marvelous. Not on Navlash, there we go. Right, we upset because there are plants in the way. Yeah, they do have big noses. It is one of the things about them that I think makes them look kind of ugly. Um, well, I've upset people in chat before by calling the Zetoceratops ugly. Uh, oh, this is Mano. That's the male of this herd. Uh, let's grab my deforest brush now. Let's just actually manually delete them. Found you. Do -do -do. That's Huyana, who I'm going to take the executive decision to rename Huyana. And Bella. Hello, Bella. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of honestly kind of horrible mud, but it's fine, because you like that sort of thing. Okay. Now, what else have we got in here? We've got... Oh, we've got some poop. I should probably clean up the poop. Clean it a bit. There we go. Uh... Got some feeders. Where shall I put the feeders? I don't want them too close to the fence, but I want them visible from the fence. That's probably good. I'll grab this horse tail. Move it. Grab this horse tail. Move it. Oh. 
this was to have a little bit. I can grab this elephant here. Move it down there. Okay, make some space for that. Ah! There we go. Did I, did I did I convince you that you had frightened me? Two feeders. Uh, let's grab this one. Duck. Three feeders in the enclosure. Uh, I definitely want one, maybe two over here. Let's put one here and one here. Animal care feeding. Hello. Gosh, there are so many horse tails here. I know I wanted lots of horse tails, but that, wow, there really are lots of horse tails here. Are you kidding me? This now doesn't reach into the ground. God damn it. Okay, we'll come back and fix that in a sec. I've got to clear all of the blooming horse tails out of this feeder. Um, Now a nice clear space for the feeder. I might want to level this terrain off very slightly. Very, very slightly. Okay. Just that much. Uh okay. Just that much. Fantastic. I want one over here. Let's put it in the shade of this tree. Marvelous. I definitely want one, maybe two over on this side, but I don't want them somewhere that's too hidden. Hmm. So we'll put one here.
and hmm. Maybe one here? Yeah, okay, one there. Oh, well, it's kind of quite close to that one. Maybe we'll put it over here? On that little spit of land? That should be enough feeders. Maybe that won't be enough feeders when I en end up tripling the population. We'll see. Uh, you guys, you need enrichment. Yes, of course you do. Uh, capacity enrichment, frozen fruit block. Well, I guess you're getting some frozen fruit blocks. <laughs> uh, do I have any over here? I do. Oh, I've got some dung beetles over here as well that I need to move across. Um, hmm. Okay, let's make. I want to make a little bridge kind of thing. Over this stream. Put the little ice thing on it. Let's get rid of this thing. Is that a little ice thing? I feel like this is actually quite a big ice thing. How big is the ice thing compared to a person? It's fairly hefty. Um, I do also want these rocks to be a different colour, but I don't know what that different colour should be. Uh, I definitely think it shouldn't be this colour. <laughs> wow, that's lurid. Uh, yeah, that's a good colour. Okay. Let's have a couple more rock areas like that strewn about the place. Are you? You're not a fan of the fruit? Or you weren't a fan of the purple colour? <laughs>
that's a bit small. Oh, hell. Oh, it's my A key stuck again, that's what's going on. Oh my god, I could turn it inside out. That's horrifying. Let's try to avoid doing that. Please turn off. Turn on. All the way around. That. Let's, uh, let's move you in a little bit. Bridge. For you guys. There we go. I want probably one more. Up here somewhere. Just have a little rock platform. Let's have a little rock platform that juts out over this. Um. What about you, if I flatten you this way? What are you doing? Are you duplicating yourself? No? What are you doing? I don't know. Oh, hell. Oh, there we go. You out of there. Go on. Get. Right. Marvel. Quite happy with that, I think. So, you good for enrichment now, guys? 
Yep, 100% enrichment. You need food, but that's fine because you'll get it. Because there'll, there will be plenty for you throughout this whole place. Okay. Let's start, because I think now we're ready for you. We should all be happy. Uh, actually, let's cycle through all of you and make sure you're all happy. 100%, 100%, 100% although you're hungry, 100%, 100%. Yeah, okay, everyone's happy. Fantastic. Let's breed some new Mizutoceratops. Open nursery menu. So we've currently got the amber skin. Let's breed one male of you and four females. Oh, these are very brown females, aren't they? Oh, I should check your crowding. So that's important. So we're having nine percent. That should be fine then, because you can deal with up to thirty. And if I'm th times you by three, three times nine is less than thirty. That's maths. See, people come to these streams for the entertainment value, not the entertainment value, the educational value. Uh, like what is nine times three? It's twenty-seven. Oh yeah. Don't find any other streamers who can do that, can you? Uh, breeding complete. Select all. Let's plop you guys up here. One, two, three, four, five. You guys happy? Let's hope you're happy. Oh god, I haven't put any dung beetles in. Oh gosh, Dizzy. Your enclosure's gonna be messy in no time. I'm gonna need so many dung beetles, this is such a big place. Oh my god. I don't need to watch out ye, I'm a pro mathematics streamer. Don't don't ask me to stream any actual mathematics. Please. Although that being said, I was watching a stream from the other day, a VOD from the other day, of someone streaming a game called Signal County. And that's basically it's a game all about like logic. It's it's one of those weird games that looks like it's a little bit kind of like coding by the back door as a disguise as a puzzle game um, but it looked really interesting I'm quite keen on maybe trying it out uh, right are you empty now no, there's one more left put you over here and we're gonna need more Let's have one back here. Let's have one in the shelter of this tree. We want one on this island as well. Over here. Well, I have no idea how many of these I need, but we're just going to sort of put down loads and hope. One more? One more. You gotta go dizzy. You gotta go dizzy? No, I'm dizzy. Oh god. I'm having a density crisis. Anyway, uh, it was good to see you. Uh, I hope you sleep well, as I'm assuming you're up for nap times. Uh, and I hope I will see you again for the next one. Whenever such a thing may be. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
Psych, we on top free dog water. We never leave. I don't know what dog water is in this context. It sounds terrifying. <laughs> Let's save our woes by making a berry herd. Oh, the females are smaller, look, because the little person grows. Oh, that's neat. One male, one, two, three, four females. Oh, I was going to de-grass or de-vegetation my channels, wasn't I? Let's do that. I thought I did thought. I have been known for thoughting quite often, actually. It's one of my least respectable traits, is that occasionally I thought. It's okay, you're allowed to laugh at your own jokes. I laugh at my own jokes all the time. I have to because no one else will. Uh, God, that sounded sad. Um, anyway. Yeah, see, there's this weird thing where... Even though I can see the bottom here, the plants don't render beneath the water's surface unless you're also below the water. So these are just floating horsetail heads. It's a bit odd. Um... Hello! You're having a, a bath as well, are you? Good. Baths are good for you. Have more bath people. I think... I can't remember. Are baths more water efficient than showers, or is it the other way around? Wait, these ones are rendering below the waterline, so why wasn't the other one rendering below the waterline? Now you've made me look like a full game by being inconsistent. What's that about? You're allowed to be in the water, because you're reeds and ashes. Being in the water is kind of your thing. I mean, that happens, ye. Like, it it doesn't dishearten me. Like, you know, I guess if if they're gonna be anywhere, they might as well be with me, right? Uh, although I don't seek them out, I'm not going to mess them around unless they do something like spamming or advertising. And if it turns out one day that they're not bots, then even better. I will welcome them to the chat with open arms and possibly a dinosaur name. And I mean, besides, one day the bots are going to take over the whole world. So it's probably a good idea not to get on their bad side. I wish there was a hotkey for the edit group button. I could really do with that. Oh god, oops. <laughs> Okay, I think the waterways are probably... Oh, maybe not this bit. Waterways are mostly clear enough now. What 
are you doing, you strange little palm? <laughs> There we go. That'll do. Uh, are you guys ready yet? Yes. Select all. At least five animals. Manirak, Coco, Kalani, Sezi, and Ava. Welcome to the park. Habitat, 81%. Uh, exhibit, check habitat needs. Oh, you're probably upset about cleanliness. Okay, that's fine. That just means I need way more dung beetles. Uh, okay. Uh, boop. Let's throw down more dung beetles. Blah, 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 because there's lots of dinosaurs making lots of dinosaur waste. Apparently. I haven't figured out if there's like a knack to putting down dung beetles in places. Um, we're going to assume that, that if you just sort of space them out a bit, it'll probably be fine. There we go. There's one around this corner as well, where it's kind of hidden a little bit. The thing is, you never know if you have enough dung beetles. You only know if you have too few dung beetles. Um, there we go, okay. I'm gonna sort of hope that that's enough. And clearly, this seems to be going up, I think. Much like a rhino or, well, a cow, its horns are sheathed in keratin. The same material that makes up scales, feathers, fingernails, and even hair. Marvelous. Okay, well I'm pretty happy with that as an enclosure. I might uh, see if I can smooth this out a little more. Just that much, not 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 too much. Do I wanna smooth the hill out on this side as well? Probably. Oh blinding, okay. Cause this is this is kind of cliff edge, but I want this to be a slightly more manageable hill. Not that people should be walking up and down it, but like, just so it doesn't seem quite so crazy. There we go. I think that's good. Wow! Wowzers! We've got people! We've got people coming to see the dinosaurs! That's like, the whole point. Huey, um, let's refill the feeders and do the cleanliness thing. See if our thing stays at sort of high cleanliness, or if it goes down again over time. If it goes down again, we just need more things, more dung beetles. Oh my god, I'm gonna need so much more food, aren't I? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> 
Oh my god, Och! Och is not contained. Where's Och? Why do my protoceratops keep wandering off? Gantulga, find the Och. Did I just go across the lake? How did you get there? How? I genuinely, I don't believe you could have walked all of this distance in the time that I've been streaming. How? <laughs> right. I'm sorry to all these visitors. You're being disposed of. Yeah. Let's grab our flatten brush. Pop some flatten on. Wait for the game to have a, a cry about the fact that I've just smushed lots of terrain. Right, now all of these people who wandered all the way over here to see this enclosure now have to walk all the way back because the dinosaurs aren't in it anymore. Oh, I'm very happy with how that's turned out. <laughs> Maybe I should turn my attention to dealing with this plaza bit again figure out what I'm doing with it. I never know what I'm doing with anything. It's just, it's too big. It's just too big. What can we do about this? Okay, what if... How big is this? See, that's that big. Hmm. Okay. What if I were to shrink it by move, move you over there for a sec? You've got a path connection. Don't moan, you've got one. It's not a good one because I put you in at a really stupid angle, but you've got one. What if I were to make the plaza something more like this? Have it not quite central on this and have it come round like that and restaurant area over here and then have this space as a small enclosure potentially for s oh my god that's up high Ah, uh, <laughs> Oh, okay, but this one, no one's complaining that this one doesn't have a path connection. <laughs> it's a flying restaurant, you fools! Could fit a small enclosure in here? Could I fit a small enclosure in there? Ah, part of the problem with you is you only have no, you don't only have three feeders, you have four feeders, ignore me. See, so yeah, have a smaller plaza area. Have a small enclosure here. And then have this come in around a little bit of a corner like that. I 
could even make that more extreme. Right, I could put you there. Oh god, I don't know what I just did. I clicked on something, I don't know what it was. Have you... that. I think I may have squished some people as well by doing this. <laughs> it's fine, they didn't need to be 3D. And then we've got... that's a, a decent-ish size for a small animal. I don't know what small animals there are. Pachyrhinosaurus. Oh, we've got the, the one star places have unlocked themselves for us now. That's nice. We haven't quite got the two star places, but we're not actually at quite two stars. So that makes sense. Um, How big is Pachyrhinosaurus? Pachyrhino oh my god. I'm just going to say Pachyrhinosaurus. Parasaurolophus is going to be big. Everything there is going to be big. Lambiosaurus, that's big. Um, I don't know what Hell Creek, Nabria, and Cloverly have for us just yet. All down there. These are finished. We've got Psittacosaurus, Cynodonta, that's a mammoth. Psittaco. Sitako. See, Sitakos are only small dinosaur remaining. And I kind of want that to be one of the, the lakeside exhibits. So the problem with this then is that we have a space for a small enclosure, and this won't necessarily be exactly there. That can potentially be... so the, the building that this will be will probably be more like over here. Um, so we've got this area, which, you know, that would, that would do for like a this size enclosure. But we don't have anything else to put in an enclosure that size. Which is the problem. Um, who's coming in the next update? Coelophysis? Oh, okay. How big is Pachyrhinosaurus? Shall I get one? Right, okay. I now have Pachyrhinosaurus unlocked. How big are you? Oh my god, you're huge and fuzzy. Wow, I did not expect... I did not expect the fuzziness, I won't lie. Okay, so you're significantly bigger even than the Zootoceratops. Okay, that definitely won't work then. When is the next update coming? We don't know exactly. Um, I'm going to save a copy of the uh, park. Because this way, at least, the plaza's not now too big. I mean, that's still a fairly big plaza area, but like, it's not too big if I do this. I don't necessarily, because I don't think I want just like noodles and noodles of dead space. I mean, you're gonna stay, you're gonna be in roughly that position Anyway, unless you're going to be more like here. You could be more like here. Because I'm thinking of having the what will eventually be the Velociraptor house when Velociraptors get added. There. This area is going to be Protoceratops, and right next to him is going to be Velociraptor. And it's going to be Roman sort of styled. So if I have to have you there, or, or somewhere along this road edge. Could I put you there, you there, and have an exhibit on the side of the plaza, maybe? That's a possibility. That's definitely something that could be done. Um, 
Although actually, because I, I wanted... If we're having the, the, the big size plaza, then you've got to be there. And you've got to be there. Stop whining about path connections! You've got them! They're not good, because this railing's in the way, but you've got them. It's not like anyone ever goes into these bloody places anyway. Does anyone go into my shop that I built? There was the guy who used to wander up and down on this bit. Oh, if a couple of people come in here. See, this is how you build a shop that people actually want to go into, guys. <laughs> I'm getting way too big for my bits here. Uh... Anyway. I forgot about that little garden. Um... <sighs> this is a big... That could be an enclosure. I definitely wasn't planning to have the plaza bordering an enclosure, though, is the thing. Hmm. I'm bad at making decisions on things. That's the truth of it. I'm just bad at this. Like, one of the things I want the park to have is a, is a sort of a museum bit. But I mostly, that's something I kind of want to be on the edge of the park, so that it's something that has independent road access, so you don't have to like, you know, if you're making a delivery or something, or even if you just want to open the museum and not the rest of the park, you don't have to... My brain will catch up, I promise. So you, you don't have to go through the zoo to get to the museum bit if, if for some reason that you don't want to. Hmm. What time are we at? 1 hour 54. How many deals do we have? <laughs> who's, who, who is here watching me struggle? Just the one, that's fine. Um, I'm not upsetting too many people's day. If I have a big plaza with the restaurant in the middle, then that opens up riverside seating <clears throat> for for people to eat at, which is a uh, it, it's a nice concept. Hmm. Thanks for bringing in the money game. Um, what is this? Animal statistics. Oh, I forgot. I should place more plants. All this. Um, maybe I should change some of my dinosaurs over to fruit. So I'm not s s sending out orders for plants every month. That's the thing I can do, isn't it? Do we eat fruits? Do we eat insects, fish, meat, and fruit are the options. What do you guys eat? Oh, we have no idea. Nursery? Nursery, tell me what my dinosaurs eat. Oh, gosh. I think he's having a little bit of a paddy the game. What do you eat? Uh... 
diet. Plants only. Okay, you got you don't eat fruit. What about you guys? Do you eat fruit? Something is really unhappy here. Protoceratops. You can only eat insects if I eat them too. That's something to think about. What does an insect feeder look like? Oh, that is actually a tree growing through that. Hang on. It's moving just just slightly. Uh what feeder? Insect. Oh, that looks horrible. <laughs> wow, that looks awful. <laughs> Ew. Um, we'll keep off of doing that for as long as we possibly can, eh? I tell you what, we are at about at two hours now, uh, so I am going to call it there. Uh, we've had a very successful uh, stream. We've made this wonderful enclosure that I'm very happy with. Uh, I'm concerned it might be a bit too big. And that, like, at the moment all of these are empty, and then only on this side there's four ones, but it's fine, probably. If we find that these feeders need to be refilled too often, then, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that. If we find that our dinosaurs are becoming ill from not enough food, we'll put down more as well. Uh, yeah, so, productive, productive stream, lovely new enclosure. Uh, the first kind of really vegetated-y one that we've got, like this is, is pretty sparse. Uh, and this one has plants but they're sort of in, in very strict ways and there's big areas, open areas with no plants. And this is definitely the, the first time I've tried something really truly vegetated. And I think I, I like how it's come off. Um, I like that Bella just hangs out with the green ones now. She's decided, yep, I'm a green Azutoceratops. Uh, we've got Mano over here and Manorick chilling. They're, they're like, you know in a, in a, oh I should, I'll do this off stream. You know in a, in a crime drum where you have like the two cops that are like both guys and they're both each other's best buds in all the world. Uh, the, the Ryan and Esposito, if, if you want to take the castle example. That's Mano and Manorick right here. They even have like a good double team sounding name. Wow, this enclosure is getting very dirty. I need more, more dung beetles. Um, yeah, I think we've done really good here. Uh, and although I, I don't exactly still know what we're doing with everything, I think it's going to be good when we get there. Oh, this will just put some dung beetles right here. <laughs> That's what you really want from me, isn't it? I should I should stop interrupting my wrap up to put down more things. Okay, okay. Uh, let's put let's put us on the transition screen. So uh, thank you everyone very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed Prehistoric Kingdom. I did say I'm probably going to be streaming Prehistoric Kingdom not quite as often in the near future, just because it's been four times a week, which is a bit a bit overloading one game for me. I think. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with probably more Stray. Maybe this time it'll actually be the end of Stray, who knows. Uh, we've thought that's before and been wrong. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you can find me on YouTube, uh, Dis for Demise, where you can watch all my back catalogue. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, please do consider dropping a like or even subscribing if you want to see more of these. Uh, and you can also find me on Twitter, at Demise, where I send out a tweet every time I go live, so in the future you will always see all of these as they're about to happen, and you can always come join in. Other than that, thank you everyone very much for watching. My name has been Dizzy, and I will see you all 
next time. Ta-ra.